this is how I like to use worms in my fishing. Get the bait floss, pop it through the micro ring swivel, get your pop up, any pop up uh, will do as long as it's about uh, 15 mil. To do is get the pop up, cut it in half, like so. Save the other half for later. You then want to get your baiting needle, put it through the middle of the pop up with the cut end on first. Get your bait floss. Thread this as you would do if you were putting a pop up or any bait onto the micro ring swivel anyway. Push it down. Tie it off. No need for any stop or anything with this. Just simply just looking to create a bit of a knot just to give it that extra thickness to stop it from pulling all the way through. Now, worms, it doesn't matter what you do, you can take the middle, the end, lap them over, leave them as they are. You just want to thread as many worms onto your needle as you can. There's two, and I'm going to lap that one round. And these baiting needles from affordable angling are really good for this. They are super sharp, which means these little things get onto those onto the needle very easily. This tactic is very very effective in winter and spring as well, just as a kind of on its own approach. You don't really need a lot of bait around it. Um, the worms kind of do the trick for you. They're full of uh, aminos and, well, what carp won't like that. So this is the important part. All right, we're done with these worms now. And the, to look after your worms, make sure the worms don't go back in the bag that you've just had them from. If you do that, you'll kill all the worms. Don't ask me how, don't know, but it does. This is the important bit. You only want one of the strings from the bait floss and we're going to thread all the worms just onto one like so this is going to be more than the food And just pull that bait and floss through, slide them down. Now, get your two ends of the bait floss, and basically just tie it off and pull nice and tight, and you'll create that ball of worm above the pop up. Do a couple of knots, no, uh, no harm in doing a few. And then simply just put the excess bait floss. That on its own is a brilliant rig. That'll catch it on a Ronnie rig, and the worms itself will give you a lot of natural attraction. Now, just to give it a little bit of a boost, simply going to cut some of the worms up. And that means then the natural attraction inside that worm is then leaching out into the water, mixed with all of the, the movement of the worm will give you super attractive carp bait.